so now, uh, so what if you have a business, a corporation, and you're investing in real estate? Now, I think there's probably a lot of worms that are com come out of that, but mm -hmm. what's the first thing you'll look at versus the individual? What would be added on? I know there's a tax part to that, and there's probably a risk part in terms of the income, but where, uh, how would you start that off? So, um, we're talking here about a corporation acquiring an investment property, correct? Yeah. Okay. Well, what I had in mind was, say it's my corporation. Yes. Like I have me and then I have my corporation. Right, as and a self-employed, And I'll use yes. my corporation to mm -hmm. do the buying versus me. Typically, the lender wants to, say, to see um, uh, a property that doesn't have operating other operating income coming in, into it. Uh, and it's just there for the purpose of acquiring real estate. If you okay. want to purchase a property under a corporation, so you can have your, your corporate, your business corporation, and then if you want to purchase a property under a corporation, you don't want your business corporation to go buy that property. You want to establish another corporation to go buy that property. But there are consequences or implications to buying a um, direct corporation, and it's back to what are you buying. If you're buying uh, a primary residence or a residential property between one to four, well, first of all, primary residence, there is no need to buy it down direct corporation. Investment mm -hmm. property, one to four units, um, uh, buying it under a corporation results in higher interest rate. Corporations will get a rate premium of 20 to 25 basis points extra compared to if you go as an individual and purchase a one to four unit. If you're purchasing a commercial, corpse purchase, purchase commercial properties day in and, and day out. That's not a problem. Um, also, if on this side here, one to four units, if you're buying a corporation today, you're required to put 20% down on a rental property. So that's 80% loan to value. If the corporation is going out to purchase a one to four unit, that um, uh, becomes smaller, the loan to value. Lenders offer 70, 75 percent. Some of them go 60, 65 percent on a corporation. So it, it, it limits your options if you're in that one to four category. But there are reasons to why clients go purchase under a corporation. So it all boils down to the cost and uh, benefits involved. And we also, when it comes to that situation where the clients ask us, do we go, do we incorporate or do we buy personally? We ask you to always t get tax advice on it. Talk yeah. to your accountant or maybe talk to your lawyer. This is our viewpoint. This is our inf This is our, our, our recommendation. But also at this point, don't take our recommendation seriously. We always ask you to take an opinion from another, uh, from your accountant. Because like Dahlia said, anything from one to four, we recommend sometimes doing it under a personal because you can always have an incorporation and kind of have an agreement between the personal to the corporation because there's liability factors. But on a commercial, I strongly recommend any per client buying a commercial property to buy it under a numbered company because, or a numbered company or a corporation because the liability factor is very important to do that. And also we recommend to seek advice on that.